Hey guys, Elite Plane. Um, so I'm doing this interview on my own. Um, this one, I mean, it's pretty much not really an interview. It's just some facts, letting you guys know what's going on. Um, so I was the only one that did record. Um, unfortunately, I was the only one that was able to record that session. Um, I want to thank Elite Hacker for being well doing what he does um and i want to thank him for the um interview that he gave me uh that was i mean i was expecting it so with all the drama that was going on so yeah but um some more info like for you guys um that i never really got to touch on was a lot of the stuff that went on um with um red line at the time um uh he was he kept on uh saying you know a point eight six in pubs isn't gonna cut it well and i do say this in the interview red line did not know the guy um and there's plenty of good players out there that have low KDs. I mean, they're there for the objective. They're not there for just the kills. I mean, and I said this in the thing, in the interview. I mean, we we do have some Calvaries out there that get the kills, and there's some out there that don't. And those people that don't are the ones that get, are getting the objectives. Um, and so, um, but anyways, so he, he uh, actually said a .86 KD in pubs isn't going to cut it in a tournament. And I'm reading this off of my computer right now. Um, and I, I, I responded with, I know I'm working on it with him. Um, and then he says I'm, he's not going to improve to tournament ready numbers in a few months. And that's what I was... Um, that's what I was referring to when I said... Uh, a few months um now here's the one big thing that does affect me though is that like he the way that he had responded with a lot of the stuff that he did he it sounded like he was going to be playing in the tournament and i just want to clarify and if he doesn't get it then well then he just doesn't get it and i completely win in the tournament well, in, in the little challenge that we have going on right now. And you know what? I'm not going to be um, Mr. Nice Guy anymore to him. I, I mean, I'm nice to every single player. There, I mean, there's only been one time when I've flipped out. But I've actually re, like pretty much just took all of like that and, you know, just talked about it with the person and now he's a co-leader of mine so i i mean and these co-leaders they're active they're there you just don't see them i mean they're not they're appearing offline but they're they're there trust me and um you know redline he was um he did say some harsh things and so a lot i mean when we go to vegas there's going to be some some trouble going. I mean, it, it's definitely going to happen. It's definitely, definitely going to happen. And I won't doubt a bit that I will, I, I won't take it easy. I mean, I'm definitely going to be a little bit harsh. I'm going to have my own little thing going on. Um, I didn't want to break the news this soon, but, you know, I'm definitely going to be having these little things going on. Um, that you guys won't get, or you might get, I mean, it might be just petty, it's just petty stuff that's gonna be happening, and I know that it is petty, but I'm doing it anyways, just because I can, I mean, it, it's my, my option, he left my organization for some stupid reason, if I, and here's where I get back into my state of mind of me being the leader of this organization is if I recruit somebody, I recruited that person. So you can't argue with me. Yes, I might have asked for your input, but I don't really care what your input is sometimes. So if your input is telling me, hey, he's not ready for competition setting, you need to find somebody else. 
and I put them on the same team and like that means that I know that that person can that like that person can just completely change their game and I don't like to say KD matters and it doesn't it really doesn't and as of right now it's I mean I'm checking my KD right now I've got a 7.0 KD I mean that's I don't know how I still have that. But, I mean, like, I mean, you got people like that, and you got people, I mean, just don't have a good KD, but, I mean, they're good. They just need somebody positive. And with a leader like that, and he was a captain, with a leader like that, they are not going to go anywhere in a positive place. Oh, I'm looking at my KD right now. It's a point nine four. <laughs> huh. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but um, I guess it. I don't know. I think that was the last game. It was a point nine four. But I'm. I mean, I'm just saying, like, with the negative attitude that he had towards everything in that situation, that's not gonna get any player that has a low KD or a high KD want to improve their game and it really definitely I mean if I would have showed all the messages to Elite Blue he would not want to be on the team and that's something that I don't want to do like I don't want that to happen like we want our players I mean Redline yeah he was a good player but if he's just flat out rude then no I don't want him on my team I don't I don't want them at all. Like, you know, you go do your own team, and I want to see what how he does. Um, I'm not expecting anything special from him. Um, but I mean, like, ever since he left, I mean, I've, I feel good. I'm, but I think it's because I have this competition out there. I mean, I may not shake his hand after. Like, right after, but I may shake his hand at some point after. Um, you know, and, you know, elite forces, you know, we're just going to go over there. And sorry for my language here, but we're just going to go over there and kick some ass. That's all we're going to do. And that I know we can do that. And, you know what, if it's like how he said with a whole bunch of point eight six KD ratios, then so be it. It'll be a whole bunch of point at eight six KD ratios out there kicking some ass because I know that our players are good. Or else I probably would not have recruited them. So here's where I go back again to the beginning of me being the leader. So I'm the leader of this organization. If you don't like something, you gotta deal with it. I'm sorry. Get to know the player at least. He never even got to know the player. He never even got to play with the kid. Like, so he doesn't know his play style. Which, half of that is good, and half of that isn't. The half part good is that he left, and that he's going out to compete, and he doesn't know how our players are doing right now. And I'm not going to let our players spill anything out. I'm making sure that everything is you know, in this space of, you know, we're working, sorry, um, we're trying our hardest, I don't want them spilling anything out there, they probably won't be spilling anything out there anyways, um, because they're busy practicing, they're busy recruiting, I mean, they need this practice, they need this recruitment, I mean, and it's not just because, I mean, it's not because they're bad, they're not, I mean, we all, like, you, I mean, you take the best Call of Duty player ever out there. Yeah, he's going to practice. Obviously. I mean, y you got to practice before a game comes out. You you're going to sit there and practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. And that's what I'm having my, my squad do. That's what I'm having them do. Um, if you guys feel a certain way towards that, then I'm sorry, but... And that's how I like it. That's how I think it should be done. And that's if you're on my organization and you're Redline, for example, 
if you're in my organization and you're him and you want to leave because of it, I don't know why you're leaving because of it. I'm the leader of the organization. Like, does it get any simpler than that? I'm the leader of the organization that you are in. He didn't believe it was an organization. Now, let me go back and restart from the beginning. Day one that I joined this team. I joined this team as elite forces. I knew about two people. It was crazy playing with with like all four and the CEO. I mean, that was awesome. But then all of a sudden, like everybody went dark. Except for me. And... I never heard from one of our players and the CEO at the time. Um, then I found out through one of the players that I played with the most that they left. They're gone. Um, that's when I took in my initiative to just recruit. And then I got a message from our new CEO saying, hey, look, listen, you're now a leader. I took that leadership skills, and I made three teams. Um, yes, it did take some time, and it did take some emails back and forth about what's what, what's going on, but I had these three teams set. They were all, like, everybody was, this is all packed. We were literally at our peak, and, I mean, people left. It was, there was so much drama going on, so much drama involved. Um, now, like, um, we have that third team. We cleared that team because nobody was playing, and we moved that to make that our Fortnite team. So now we actually only have two COD teams, our main squad and our backup squad, which is forced. Um... They're elite forced. I mean, that's that's about it. We don't have anybody on there as of right now. Um, but I'm planning on getting that rebuilt. But I first want to get elite forces back to their full potential and back to practicing a lot. I mean, I just, I can't stress it. I want them practicing a lot, a lot, a lot. And as a leader and as their coach, especially, I want them to be practicing. And actually, as their leader and as their coach, if I put somebody on their roster that they think they might not be able to be in that that um, team because of a certain thing, guess what, guys? Deal with it. I'm sorry. I put them on there. I'm the leader of the organization, which is the all three teams, and I coach the team that I put them on. Does it get harder than that? No. That's why a lot of this stuff is a lot. It's just really stupid. And I don't know why, you know, somebody would leave like that. It's It just doesn't make any sense to me why he would leave. And then he goes off about, I mean, like, I did go off on a rant on him. And I was really pissed off, but, and he, and that's when he pulls up, I shouldn't be a leader. Well, that's when I completely challenged him to be, to be in my shoes. And that's when everything started. Um, and it wasn't really a challenge like, oh, hey, I'm challenging you right now. It's more of a, um, I'd like to see you in my shoes. And then, okay, yeah, Vegas. Um, and... You know, like, I'm going to bring this up in the next interview, but he mentions um, fundings. Yeah, no, we can get the fundings over there for sure. If we can get the fundings for Jersey for all four players, we can most definitely get the fundings for a flight out there. It's all stupid. It's all really, really stupid stuff that just people need to grow up. And sometimes I say this, but 
I I have to take care of these 18 year old and older babies like I mean my my squad now they're not babies but let's go back to before that squad was made before Redline left I mean like I would consider him a baby because he pretty much whined about this kid having a low KD, but he never played with him. He never knew him. He never played, knew how he played. He never knew what type of style he played. He, I mean, I can go on for days about this. Um, but he brought up the funding, and that's something that you just don't bring up in conversations because – he never really asked for fundings for anything. So. Where you at now, bud? Like, that's my big thing. Is where are you at now? Wh like, what are you doing right now? Because. Streaming Pokemon. That's probably not going to get you anywhere with your COD team. And I tweeted it out. Um, you get a Twitter. You get four, four Twitter players. Like last minute before Black Ops 4. Vegas. Before MLG Vegas. Like right before it. And him streaming Pokemon. Yeah, he's probably going to go off and get that. four players of Twitter. He hasn't even, I mean, I don't know anything on what's going on in his side, but you check his Twitter out. He does not have a team name on there. He's not a leader of anything. He's not a part of anything. And it's, it's um, a little odd, but at the same time, you know what? I can deal with it, whatever. Um, and, you know, we picked up um, some OG members. Well, an OG member... And the new member, and we picked up somebody else brand new to the org as well. So, I mean, all this stuff that he said I couldn't do, I can do it. I guarantee you I can do it. You just have to understand what's actually going on. You have to understand that what I'm doing is real. You challenge, I mean, you pretty much challenge me to this, so let's... I mean, let's fucking go, bud. I don't want to cuss in a lot of my interviews, but I'm sorry. But, I mean, that's probably where I'm going to be saying it. I mean, that's it. I've got to say that sometimes. And you know what? I mean, if he wants to act childish, by all means, act childish. I'm probably going to act childish at Vegas. But that's a different story. Um... You know, and it's it's just like I mean, we I got him a graphics that he specifically asked for. I'm I asked for the graphics for a Twitter background bio, and I gave it to him. He never even once said thank you. Um, and it wasn't from me; it was from our graphics guy, Sir Milt. So, thank you, Sir Milt, for the graphics. Very much appreciated. But, um, going back on that, you know, like, he asked for the graphics. And for background, for Twitter, and I asked for it. I, I asked Sir Milt if he could get it for us. You know what? He took time out of his day to make it and get it out there for us. And dude didn't even say thank you. Didn't even downloaded i guarantee you i had an overlay for him nope um you know so it's it's one of those things where like it's really stupid of what he's doing honestly it's i don't think there's anybody stupider that's doing this right now he has no idea what he's getting into I don't think he can actually, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to call him out here, but personally, I don't think he's going to be able to get the funds to go to Vegas. 
and especially for all four of his teammates. I mean, that's that's it, but I mean and if he thinks I'm joking around about going to Vegas, I'm not. I'm not joking around. Um I don't know if you guys know, but I'm taking Red Rock Moose with me. Um, he's a good friend of mine. And I may be taking one more person with me. So, as well as my four players. So, like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. The question is, is he ready? Does he know what he's getting into? No, he doesn't. I can answer it for you right now. He doesn't. He doesn't know what it's like to be a leader for four players. Which is sad. Unfortunate. So, I mean, you know what? He can deal with what happened. And he can act like a child. Saying that we're not going to get the funds. But the most... The, the most and biggest possible chance is he won't have the funds himself. And that's what makes me laugh. So, I mean, throughout this whole journey and adventure, you know, we're going to be um, interviewing and left and right. And you know what? At sometimes I may have players with me um, on here. Uh, I might have one of the co-leaders on here with me. Um, I don't know. I would I would really like to get um, actually Redline in here. If that's a thing. I want to get him in here and actually get him in here for this interview. And actually see what his side of this argument is. Because, I mean, later on, but... His side of the argument is that'd be kind of nice. Um, can we get it on drama alert? Probably not. I wish we could. But, I mean, you know, I've got the, the two videos. Well, this is the second one, so I've got the other video. So I'm actually going to be posting that one and this one onto either my Twitter, well, well, the sorry, not my Twitter, but the team's Twitter, because I do have access to it. Um, I'll probably be posting it to those, uh, sorry, to that, or I'll be posting it on YouTube and sharing it with Twitter. Um, either or, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of beef that's going on, and you know what? People need to grow up. I acted mature about it. He didn't. That's that's the difference between me and him. Is I'm younger than him. I acted way more mature than he did. I did say things. I did say a few things that I do wish I probably could have taken back. Because, I mean... Granted, I was pissed off, but, um, you know what, screw it, I don't, like, it doesn't bother me anymore, um, you know, he, I was pissed off because he was saying that he's gonna leave pretty much because I'm recruiting a low KD person, I mean, and I've talked about it, low KD people can do things in in the game, they can get you a W, actually. They can save your ass without firing one bullet. But I know this can this kid can fire a bullet. Every time that I've played with him, he's either right under me or right above me. And that's a good thing because I I am actually really good at this game. Um, you know, I'll pull out my I mean not sniping. I'm not. I'm not good at sniping, but I'll. I mean, I can definitely pull out a uh, um, MP40 and just mark it. And he 
will be right under me or right above me. Like, and that's like crazy. And for 0.86, that's a level 31. Not prestige, not reset. Level 31, I told you, he doesn't play the game. But since we started playing the game together, like, when he was still a level 1, guess what? He was still either under me or below me in the leaderboard. Sorry, either under me or above me in the leaderboard. So, I mean, you know what? Kid's good. And I know it, and I'm not bragging, but I'm, I mean, I'm a good player. Um, what's unfortunate is I can't play anymore. I'm rostered in as the leader, as the coach. So I can't, I can't do any, I, I mean, if it was elite force, then maybe I could play, but it's not, it's elite forces. If it was Elite Impact and they were doing Call of Duty, yeah, maybe I could play because I'm not coaching. But it, since it's a, the Elite Forces squad, I'm I'm going to be coaching. I can't not be coaching. So, I mean, yeah, it's just crazy wild with what's going on. I'm ready for MLG Vegas. I'm ready to get this thing done with. So, with MLG Vegas with me, I have four people coming with me that are players. I have um, Red Rock Moose come with me. If he can, a uh, family member or a friend come with me. And then... Um, our CEO, BK, is going to be there. So, yeah. And I think some of the original players will be there, too. I don't know. But it's it's all a matter of, like, what's going on. And I know that we're actually going to kick some ass there. Um, with the, the squad that I have set up now, I mean, that's just three people. I know we're going to kick ass. But you throw in a fourth person that's that will work with them, that can learn to play with them, yeah, I definitely know that we're definitely going to kick some ass. Um, and, you know, it's been more active recently. Our Discord's been more active. But that I think that's also because of... Um, you know, sometimes you got to force some conversation on to the players. That's something I didn't do earlier. Um, I expected them to respond, have some responsibility. But you know what? Whatever. This this group that I have now, it's way better. I mean, they will actually force a conversation on you. I will either have to force... I mean, it, it'll be one of the, the two. And that's what I love is they're always down to play. They're always here talking to each other about, hey, you know, I'm down to play. Um, and, you know, we just need to get our fourth in. That's it. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's what's going on in my head. What's going on with everything is just, you know, like, I don't know why Redline would do us dirty like that. But you know what he did, and payback's coming, buddy. I'm sorry, but yeah. Anyways, um, this has been 30 minutes of me talking about random bullshit, so I'm going to go because it's 2.13 in the morning, and I've been up all day, and I've had a long day. So um, I want to thank myself for the... No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I really do want to thank Elite Hacker for the for being able to um, get me in on an interview. Um, I do have access to the Twitter, so I'll probably be posting both of these together. Um, and, I mean, just, yeah. I mean, it, 
thank you so much for letting me get in that interview. And uh, thank you so much for letting me have this interview on my own. Uh, I I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, and none of this video is edited. Nothing like that. Um, OBS. Just straight up OBS. And actual conversation. So, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but... <clears throat> Um, I hope you guys will enjoy what's going on, and I hope you guys will be wanting more, wanting to see more, and you know what, if we're lucky enough, we might get uh, on Drama Alert, who knows, that'd be cool, um, when I retweet it on my personal account, I will probably do hashtag Drama Alert, or at Drama Alert, you know, because there's a lot of beef that's going on, and I can tell you right now, after Redline had this, had the Twitter conversation, you know, he deleted all of his tweets, which I find hilarious because he blocked me too. So, you know what? If you want to act childish and then do that, then just get out of here, dude. Just, I already call it quits, though. Don't even go into the, to MLG Vegas thinking that that's going to happen as a coach. Remember that. But, I mean, if he doesn't want to call it Dunzo, then, you know what? Screw it. I'm down to go. And if he's not playing as... Sorry, if he's... If he is rostered himself in, then I will be sure to let him know in every shape and form in his body that he can't be rostered like that. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much um, for this, for just listening in on this interview on this thirty-two minute video of just me me talking about the past interview and what's going on. Um, I will be getting um, a third interview going on, um, and you know we'll have another interview when more shit hits a fan about what's going on because a lot of it will probably be with him. So, yeah, I mean, and, you know, before I do go, I do want to say one more thing, and that's the fact, I mean, yes, I do have access to the org's Twitter. I have access to organization Twitter. I was given that since day one. Um, I brought Elite Hacker in here to help manage it, and he did, you know, and I want to thank him for that, but like our our um one our our player in elite squad and the elite force squad the main squad um <laughs> mentioned and this is all true he i mean he blocked me on my main twitter but the organization twitter is still out there and he's still following us and we're still following him that's how i'm able to be into what he's doing um, so I hop on there every once in a while just to see if he's gotten anything changed. And, you know, um, the player that he had mentioned in, in our Discord that, um, and he's completely right about it, is that I'm too afraid to hit send with it being the org's Twitter because that just ruins our reputation, and it does. So, I mean, I don't want to ruin our reputation. It's it's not good that we have that reputation. I like we don't want to have a bad reputation. I mean, it's not good that I have the reputation on my own Twitter myself. I'm not proud of it, but you know what? He blocked me. So what? I mean, it's not like I was going to continue doing it over and over and over and over and over. Same thing left and right. No, I was probably just going to be done for the night. But he decided to respond with some more stupid shit and somebody else got involved. So anyways, I mean, that's about it. Thank you guys for tuning in this 35 minute video. <laughs> but um, guys, make sure you guys stay tuned with what's going on with all this drama because it is going like deep and it's 
I'm I'm liking where this is going because I'm a drama person myself. I love it. Um, sort of, and I also hate it. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys. Deuces.